So Meta has just dropped the latest version of their language model, Llama 3.1. And folks, it's a beast with a whopping 405 billion parameters. There's a ton to unpack here, especially from the research paper. Now, before we look at the juicy stuff in detail, I want to show Meta's announcement video. And stay tuned because I'm about to break down everything they went over and why it matters. Today, we're excited to deliver on the long-awaited Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model that we previewed back in April. We're also updating the 8 and 70 billion models with new improved performance and capabilities. The 405 is hands down the largest and most capable open source model that's ever been released. It lands improvements in reasoning, tool use, multilinguality, a larger context window, and much more. And the latest benchmark numbers that we're releasing today exceed what we previewed back in April. So I encourage you to read up on the details that we've shared in our newly published research paper. Alongside the 405B model, we're releasing an updated collection of pre-trained and instruction-tuned 8B and 70B models to support use cases ranging from enthusiasts and startups to enterprises and research labs. Like the 405B, these new 8 and 70B models offer impressive performance for their size, along with notable new capabilities. Following feedback we heard loud and clear from the community, we've expanded the context window of all of these models to 128K tokens. This enables the model to work with larger code bases or more detailed reference materials. These models have been trained to generate tool calls for a few specific functions, like search, code execution, and mathematical reasoning. Additionally, they support zero-shot tool usage. Improved reasoning enables better decision-making and problem-solving. Updates to our system-level approach make it easier for developers to balance helpfulness with the need for safety. We have been working closely with partners on this release, and we're excited to share that in addition to running the model locally, you'll now be able to deploy Llama 3.1 across partners like AWS, Databricks, NVIDIA, and Grok. And it's all going live Today. At Meta, we believe in the power of open source, and with today's release, we're furthering our commitment to the community. Our new models are being shared under an updated license that allows developers to use the outputs from Llama to improve other models. This includes outputs from 405B. We expect synthetic data generation and distillation to be a popular use case that enables new possibilities for creating highly capable smaller models and helping to advance AI research. Starting today, we're rolling out Llama 3.1 to Meta AI users, and we're excited to bring many of the new capabilities that Angela outlined to users across Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, and Instagram. With the release of 3.1, we're also taking the next steps towards open source AI becoming the industry standard, continuing on our commitment to a future where greater access to AI models can help ecosystems thrive and solve some of the world's most pressing challenges. We look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing what the developer community will build with Llama. So that was the announcement video from Meta, folks. But as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot more to explore with this release. It really seems like Llama 3.1 could shift the entire AI ecosystem. Now, a hot topic everyone's curious about is the benchmarks for Llama 3.1 and these 405 billion parameters they're talking about. You know, folks, it's fascinating to see that Llama 3.1 matches up with the best of the best in state-of-the-art models. Interestingly, Gemini 1.5 Pro didn't even make the comparison list, which I think might suggest it's in a league of its own. But let's focus on what we have. What we can see here is that the standout categories for Llama are highlighted with a box in the visuals. I think it's pretty wild that this model outperforms giants like GPT-4.0 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet in several key areas, including tool use, multilingual capabilities, and the GSM 8K. Even more impressive, folks, its reasoning scores soar up to 96.9, potentially topping Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Of course, while these benchmarks are impressive because they showcase that Llama 3.1 is doing amazing stuff, we can't overlook the importance of human evaluation. After all, these models are ultimately meant for human use. But even just at a glance, with Llama 3.1 being much smaller in size compared to others, like GPT-4 with its 1.8 trillion parameters, and still matching or even exceeding their performance with a model four and a half times smaller, is nothing short of remarkable. I think this could open up possibilities like running GPT-4 level capabilities locally, albeit with significant computing power required, which could be pretty crazy. I mean, we could be truly on the brink of a new paradigm where state-of-the-art tech becomes more and more available to everyone.
Now let's unpack more about what Llama 3.1 brings to the table, folks. Apart from the headline-grabbing 405 billion parameter model, Meta has also upgraded its smaller versions, the 8 billion and the 70 billion parameter models. Just to give you an idea, in comparison to Google's Gemma 2, which falls short in almost every category except the Arc Challenge for reasoning, Llama 3.1 absolutely shines. Eva Mistral, a complex 8 by 22 billion parameters mixture of experts and GBT 3.5 Turbo, doesn't stack up against the 70 billion parameter Llama 3.1, which outperforms it significantly. Honestly, folks, it seems that what we're seeing with this Llama 3.1 model isn't just a slight edge over its competitor, because it could dominate them across the board with a clear margin. It's downright impressive. For anyone using smaller models, whether for development, research, or practical applications, the 70 billion parameter version of Llama 3.1 proves to be extraordinarily effective. Turning to human evaluations, folks, which are the real test of how these models perform in practical scenarios, Llama 3.1 holds up remarkably well against the state-of-the-art models. We're talking about a winning or tying 70% to 75% of the time, which is stellar considering its smaller size and lower operational costs. Just imagine the possibilities if you had an unlimited version of something like Claw 3.5 Sonnet at your disposal. I've heard from many developers frustrated by the high costs associated with these large models. Llama 3.1 could be a game changer for all of them. Comparatively speaking, against GPT-4, Llama 3.1 wins more frequently, and while it performs slightly less impressively against GPT-4.0, it's still highly competitive given its size. You see, folks, this performance is something previously thought unimaginable with models of this scale. Now here's something fascinating they touched on, the architecture of this model itself. Meta revealed some intriguing design choices aimed at keeping the model development scalable and straightforward. They stuck with a standard decoder-only transformer model architecture, but made minor tweaks to enhance training stability, steering clear of a more complex mixture of experts' model. And you know, folks, this decision driven by a desire for simplicity seems to have paid off in terms of the model's effectiveness. It's interesting to speculate whether this trend of simplicity will continue, especially since a recent paper from Google, not Meta, mentioned experimenting with a model involving a million experts. One wonders, will this simplicity extend to open source models? Only time will tell. Diving deeper into the research aspect, guys, let's talk about the Llama 3 herd of models. The research paper discusses how they've integrated image, video, and speech capabilities into Llama 3 through a compositional approach. I guess this move towards making the model multimodal is nothing short of revolutionary. They found this approach holds up well against state-of-the-art models in image, video, and speech recognition tasks. However, these capabilities are still in the oven, under development and not quite ready for the public. What's clear from the paper is that these multimodal extensions, which encompass image recognition, video understanding, and speech processing, are still being perfected. Then folks, diving further into the capabilities of Llama 3, the paper also details their initial forays into multimodal models. Specifically, I think the segment on Llama 3 vision is pretty revealing. It turns out this model excels at vision tasks, even outperforming state-of-the-art models in several benchmarks. When we look at image understanding and the performance of the vision model linked to Llama 3, it's apparent it holds its own quite impressively. In fact, it performs significantly better than GPT-4 vision. To put that into perspective, consider the AI2 diagram scores. Llama 3 scores 94.1 against GPT-4V's 78.2. This performance is quite remarkable, especially when recalling how the initial GPT-4 vision paper raved about its capabilities. I mean, the potential use case for Llama 3 as a vision assistant are quite staggering. And what's even more fascinating is the minimal performance difference between the Llama 3 models with 70 billion parameters and those with 45 billion parameters. I guess that this indicates that even with the reduced complexity, the vision capabilities remain quite robust. So this efficiency is crucial since image recognition tasks are known for being resource intensive. Now folks, I want to talk about another impressive thing, video understanding. You know, the Llama 3 70 billion parameter model's performance in this domain is nothing short of impressive. I say this because it outperforms heavyweights like Gemini 1.0 Ultra, Gemini 1.0 Pro and Gemini 1.5 Pro, GPT-4V and gpt 40 in video understanding. This is a remarkable feat, considering the sheer capability of these AI giants. 
While the Gemini 1.5 Pro specializes in long context video understanding, able to process over 2 million tokens, it's still incredible to see a relatively smaller model like Llama 3 holding its ground against these larger, more complex systems. Moving on to another pretty cool feature, folks, audio conversations. Take a look at this screenshot. It's from a session where someone is conversing out loud with the model, akin to how you'd interact with GPT-40, the chat GPT version that simulates talking to a real person. Now, what's mind-blowing here is the model's ability to understand multiple languages through natural speech, not just text. This is a crucial distinction because Grasping the nuances of pronunciation and the way words are spoken can drastically enhance how AI is utilized in real-world applications. Now let's see another innovative aspect that they showcased, tool use. Now check this out. When asked to describe what's in a CSV file, Llama 3 doesn't just understand it because it actually interprets the data accurately. And here's something even cooler. The model's ability to manipulate data extends further. For instance, when asked to plot data on a time series, Llama 3 doesn't blink. It whips up a nice graph efficiently. Take it up a notch and ask it to overlay the S&P 500 on that same graph. Done and done with remarkable precision. So what's crucial to realize here, and you might not grasp the full impact just yet, is that tool use represents a significant leap towards what we might consider general intelligence in AI systems. It's about enabling these models to not just understand requests, but to act on them using a variety of tools. To wrap up, here's an interesting hint from the developers. They believe that the advancements we're seeing with Llama 3 are just the beginning. They've hinted that substantial further improvements of these models are on the horizon. This means Llama 3, as impressive as it is, isn't the peak. The future holds even more sophisticated AI models, and what we're witnessing now is merely the tip of the iceberg. I mean, it is so impressive. Now, folks, let's talk about accessing Llama 3. If you're excited about using Llama 3 and you're tuning in from America, you're in luck. You can easily access it via Meta. However, for those of you in the UK, it's a bit trickier, even if you're using a VPN, because you need an account to sign in. And as of this video's release, that's still a requirement. But if you really want to try Llama 3 after watching this video and you're based in the UK, your best bet is Grok. That's Grok with a Q, not a K. Basically, it's an influence platform known for super fast inference, and they're currently hosting Llama 3, specifically the 45 billion parameter model ready for you to use. Now, I'm unsure about its availability in other regions, but I guess they're expected to extend quickly to various platforms. So hang tight. Within 24 hours, there will likely be a slew of sites rolling out access. Thanks for watching. Don't miss the recommended videos. And as always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.